this guy is no easy man but if you come 155 welcome no problem <laughs> Oh, stop. Conor McGregor said that if he wins at 145 pounds, he wants to move up to 155. What do you think? When Jose Aldo's chin hits the floor and four, who exactly are you going to go up and take the belt from at 155? Whoever has it. Who do you predict is going to have it? You don't give a fuck. I think Habib will get the lightweight belt. I like Conor McGregor, but he come on 55 for minute smashing, no problem. He's striking guy, I like him. I think uh, he can beat Jose Aldo, maybe finish him. But a lot, lot of people think Jose Aldo beat him, but my opponent, I think he kill him. And, but if he come on 55, welcome. I meet him, he watch me like, I ask you why you watch? What do what, what you want? I am not Eddie Alvarez and Ty, Tyron Wood. I'm different, you know. If somebody watch me like crazy, I can go crazy too, you know. And uh, But a lot of security is coming. And, you know, I watch his eyes. He don't say nothing. He like, what, what, what? And that's it, you know. But... You think you're ready? Come on, please, 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 Your guy, beginning of the year, he tap like chicken. End of the year, he fight for the title. Crazy. Hey, the, 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 you know, guys, this is true. This is not trash talking. Hey, guys. Irish only six million, Russian one hundred fifty million. I want to fight with your chicken because this is number one easy fight in lightweight division. And Weidman Grayfoy, it was a good performance. I mean, yeah, what he was talking as well was, I mean, look, he's he's fought once in eight years. Do you know what I'm saying? Like he ain't fight, he ain't fight too frequent for my liking. Like for me to commit to something like that. I need to be solid proof that people are going to show up, and he's a consistent pull-out merchant. I want to take him down, speak with him, you know, slap him, make him nervous. Like, hey, get up, let's go. Where's your boxing? You know, slap him, play with him, and make him give up. Because the two guys that are fighting for that interim belt are bombs. Two bombs fighting for an interim belt. They should be very, very happy that I'm taking my take, chilling out, taking a break, and they have this little chance to think that they're up there, but in reality they're nowhere close. They'd both be knocked out stiff, both chinny, both wild, too sloppy. I don't give a shit about Conor. <laughs> I think about Conor. I, I, when I come to the UFC, I never think about Conor. Oh, I want to fight with him, make money, something like this. I think about only only belt. And also we heard from Dana White today that you might you want to fight Khabib in Russia. Is that what you want to do after this? Are you coming back to that's the USC? That's certainly, uh, that's certainly an option that I'm exploring. That would be a spectacle. It would be like something out of Rocky. I suppose this whole story is like a Rocky story, right? So uh, why not face the, face face a, a man in his home country and you know what I mean? In a crazy place like Russia. So uh, it's certainly something I, I, I'd like to do. Connor, he have only one fight in UFC. Uh, 155, he, and he champion. He beat old uh, Eddie Alvarez, you know. He's a good fighter. I think a lot of people can beat him in 155. This is my opinion. Like, this is my opinion. I think a lot of people can beat him. And, you know, he have good boxing, good timing, but he don't have wrestling, he don't have grappling, he don't have condition. You saw Conor McGregor throw a trolley and it, it hit the bus. What was your reaction? Were you scared for your safety? What are you talking about? I'm scared. You, you, you think I'm scared something? I, I scare only one guy, you know. Like when it's beginning happen, I, I, I think, wow, it's friends come. And I watch Conor McGregor with the whole, his team, he's here. I try to go out, but these guys catch me, close my bus, you know. Hey, this guy come to find me. I have to go out. Please let me. All security catch me. You're on a team versus team, let me know. Send me location and that's it, I'm gonna come. This is Brooklyn. You know, this is Brooklyn. This is number one gangster place of all time. 
you know, here in Brooklyn, mm, uh, you know, like big history, you know. And if you want something, let me know. You know, of course, I cannot fight in street, but if someone like you, UFC fighter, wanna go crazy with you, of course, I'm gonna give him back. You know, because we have to fix this problem. We have to fix this problem, and inside the cage or outside the cage doesn't matter.